Hello everyone, in this video we are going to look at uh, imaging appearances of a 20 something year old female patient who presented with vomiting and headache. Patient had undergone cranioplasty three days prior to the admission scan. I'm going to start with the initial CT which was performed three days earlier. As you can see, patient has multiple infarcts due to underlying vasculitis. Patient had undergone cranioplasty with small amount of extraaxial fluid at the craniectomy site. So the images on the left corresponds to the CT which was performed when patient presented to the emergency department. As you can clearly see, the skin flap is sunken. There is also paradoxical herniation of the brain to the contralateral side. You can clearly see the subfalcine herniation. You can see the mass effect and effacement of the right lateral ventricle. The left lateral ventricle is mildly dilated. Imaging appearances are consistent with sunken skin flap with paradoxical brain herniation. As you can clearly see on the 3D reformatted images, the skin flap is sunken. Compare that to the immediate post-surgical CT head examination. So the classic imaging appearances would include the sunken skin flap, herniation of the brain away from the craniectomy site, i.e. paradoxical brain herniation to the contralateral site. This happens when the intracranial pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure. While some patients can be asymptomatic, most patients will have orthostatic headache, decreased consciousness and with neurological symptoms. This is a neurosurgical emergency. The treatment measure includes paradoxical measures to increase the intracranial pressure. Ultimately, cranioplasty would be the definitive treatment. I hope you found this case to be informative. Thanks for your attention.